Hey everyone, this is Ryan DeGregorio, host of Mind Bending Astronomy. Thanks for joining me and welcome to today's episode. Last time we talked about some mysterious thing called the Boltzmann brain. Today we're going to be looking at Noether's theorem. And this was a theorem developed by Emmy Noether. And she stated that there exists a conservation law anytime there is a symmetry. And this is one of the first things you learn in introductory physics. Namely, there are three main conservation laws. There is the conservation of linear momentum, conservation of angular momentum, and of course, conservation of energy. And the last one is probably the most familiar, saying that energy can never be created nor destroyed. And the reason this is so is at any time you decide to do an experiment, the result should be the same. That is, no energy can um, come into existence or come out of it. For example, if you play with a pendulum and it swings back and forth, the potential energy will always be converted into kinetic energy and maybe a little bit of friction and sound. Um, and if you repeat this process the next day, you'll expect the same result. And this is a temporal symmetry. And so we say the energy of that system is conserved. For momentum, and this works for angular and linear momentum, there is a symmetry in space. So anywhere on the planet you decide to do an experiment to look at conservation of momentum, let's say the collision of two bowling balls, you could replicate this anywhere on the Earth's surface and expect the same result. And this is what is meant by symmetry. Here is the surprising thing about Noether's theorem. When we look deep into the universe, we hit a point where we can no longer see the light from distant galaxies or stars. And the reason we can't see it is the light has been redshifted so far into the infrared that it's invisible and we can't detect it with our eyes. And now you might wonder, how is it that that light got redshifted so much? Well, it must have lost energy. If light loses energy, the wavelength increases and the frequency decreases. Well, where does that energy go? It turns out it just went away. It evaporated, it dissipated, it's gone. And well, isn't that a violation of one of the conservation laws, conservation of energy? And it's not. The reason it isn't a violation is that Noether's theorem says that conservation of energy only works if there is a symmetry in time. But here's the catch. When the light was emitted, let's say billions of years ago, the universe was different than it is today when we try to observe it. That light has been traveling through an expanding space time. This is the key. The universe has been expanding since the light's emission. And because of that expansion, the symmetry is broken and there is no symmetry and we don't need to conserve energy. So the energy of that light can literally just vanish and it becomes redshifted. So uh, we'll see you next week for another mind-bending episode.